I have been wanting to do some uh, linear algebra and I think at the pace that I'm going for my analysis fun work uh, I think I can probably swing a little linear algebra this summer and I that's that's what I may end up doing maybe towards the, late, the latter part of the summer uh, so I wanted to show the, the linear algebra books that I've considered but also the one that I'm definitely going to use and so it's going to be Anton's 11th edition linear algebra without the extra stuff. So it's the thinner version. I actually have the one that's got all the extra, uh, what I call the application chapter. Uh, and it's, it's really good. It's got a lot of examples. Actually, let me show it. Uh, let me show it. Let me show it. So, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just bring up all these books as I look through them. So in the case of Anton, which I happen to think is a, a great linear algebra book and the one that I will use as my first one to go through, and then later on I'll do some other ones, uh, God willing. Uh, he's got uh, a lot of proofs, so there are proofs in the book, yet also a lot of applications. So it's really, I believe, the, the linear algebra book that I've seen, that basically it's got it all. Uh, because it does do some proofs and it does go for the engineering with lots of problems and of course linear algebra these days it's you know with all this AI machine learning artificial intelligence it's really at the heart of it because all you're really doing in that world is inverting a matrix I believe don't quote me but I think that's all there is to it then of course 10,000 complications after that layers and layers of complications and so this book has all these applications and that's great but I want to do and, and of course answers in the back but I want to do the one the one without just because I like to finish the whole book and I don't want to have anything hanging and I wanted a little a newer version as well so that was ninth edition this is 11th edition you know just why not if I can do that uh, and so this is the book that I plan to use most likely uh, earlier in the summer, maybe by June, but perhaps as late as August. I am not sure because I want to for sure finish at least one of the analysis books that I'm working on right now as kind of like a reward for starting this book. And I want to continue doing analysis as I do this book. I'm actually going to double up. I'm not a fan. Uh, of doubling up but I'm also not a fan of just a gigantic long march of analysis uh, as much as I love analysis I know I'm gonna get a little bored of just doing the same thing all the time it's also got a solutions a solutions manual for students and I got that it's got answers explained I'm gonna use it I'm sure then of course there's the other books uh, and I have shown Halmus. I, I'm not showing it in this video, but if you look at my channel, I do have uh, the precursor book to the theory course book that a lot of people use, Linear Algebra Done Right by Axler. It's got a new edition that just came out, but I don't really care. I'm going to use this book, and I've actually read parts of it before. Uh, very, very good book. Uh, I wish it had a lot more problems, just because I like long problems. That's just my own... Thing. It's not a very mathematical thing to, to, to do, uh, but I like that. Maybe from my engineering background, there's Ada Lovelace. Yep, there she is. And so, uh, yeah, this is a great book. The uh, What I think is the book that gets a lot of traction for theory-guided uh, uh, linear algebra courses is what I call the FIS, Friedberg Insel Spence. And I do want to go through this book. Uh, I have read parts of it as well, skimmed uh, and read parts of it. And this is really, this is, I believe this is the go-to book. Uh, and someday I hope to cover this whole book. Yes, I definitely want to. Many books that I want to do, but uh, for, but for Linear Algebra, definitely uh, all four of these books I would like to go through at some point. But I'm, gonna, I'm only going to use... Anton to get started. Of course, Gilbert Strang, <clears throat> great videos on uh, YouTube uh, from his MIT Courseware course. 
and another classic. So here, this is uh, we have a, a great set of books for linear algebra. Uh, I love this book because I can couple it to watching uh, Gilbert Strang tell us about linear algebra. I've done a little bit of that years past, and so yeah, all four of these books are really really good, but only one will get done first, and that will be Anton.